Lastly, can you show me how you did add to basket for a grocery application? I missed it as I was busy with my friends when you coded it up. And I tried to look at the code. I needed some help. Oh right, you were indeed busy. Lucky you. My friend also wants to learn this stuff, so you can join us today. Hey Aboli, are you starting to work on your grocery project? I too want to join. This looks like a real cool project. Yes, I was waiting for you. You do need this for the game that you discussed with me. Now that you know how to create a list, let us move to see how to work a bit more with it. We will look at the code for add to basket. You know how we tick mark on our grocery list? How do we do that? We first go through the list to find where the item is. Then we put a tick mark against it once we have purchased the item. In coding, this is called iterating the list. Can you see how the list is numbered from 1 to the length of the list? We start from the first item and keep checking until we find the item on the list. That is the list index. Let us look at the iterate code more closely. We will make a my block called iterate list. The function will take item name as input. Start with setting the index to 0. We will use a variable to store when an item is found. Use a repeat until loop to iterate through the list until the item is found. In the loop, check if the item is found. Here, we are using the contains operator. If it does not match, we are increasing the index by 1. This loop will continue till the item is found or until we reach the end of the list. Once the item is found, the loop will exit because of the repeat until condition. So now we have the index of the item on the list and we have set item found to 1. Make another my block called add to basket prepend1. We will first check if the first letter is 1 or not. We need not tick mark it if already done once. If item is not ticked, we will use the replace item block of the list to do so. We will use join to replace the item by 1 and prepend to the item name. We have used a lot of coding blocks that you probably wonder what I used for, isn't it? You will need to practice this a few times yourself to really get the hang of how to iterate a list and how to work with indexes. These concepts will help you in whichever programming language you work with. You have been introduced to the first data structure in computer science without even knowing about it. Geet, I will simulate the grocery shop for you. Now you can check how the code is working.
Okay, I see that. When we click on the grocery item, we are calling the two blocks that we just created. First, we are calling the iTrick list by passing the costume name, which is the item name. We check if the variable item found is set to 1. We now call the code block add to basket. Aha! I have a question. If the item is not found on the list, we are not adding it to the basket, isn't it? Haha! <laughs> Good observation. Yes, I have left a few things for you to code yourself.